Hi everyone, this is Anjal Soni. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss how to create custom radio buttons or single value list in Tableau. Although filters and parameters provide you the flexibility of creating a single value list, which looks something like this, but you would want to create a customized version of it when you want to adhere to specific design requirements or color codes. So today we'll learn how to create um, uh, custom radio buttons for discount, profit and sales where the chart is getting updated as you make a selection. So if I click on sales, then the chart gets updated to show me sales by month of order date. If I click on discount, then it again gets updated to show me discount by month of order date. So let's get started. There can be multiple methods of achieving this. I'm going to discuss two methods, one in this video and the other one in my next video. So in method one, the first step is to identify how many radio buttons do you want to create. We need three radio buttons here, profit, sales and discount. Now, the next step is to identify a pre-existing field from the data set which has three members or three values. So here category field has only three values. If I right click and go to aliases, you can see furniture, office supplies and technology. So I can use this field by manipulating its values. So um, this has been already used in dashboard one. So I'll just create a copy of it. Okay, so what you need to do is just uh, right click and go to aliases here i'll get uh, same aliases uh, because it's it's being copied from the existing one so you just need to go and change the value here change uh, furniture alias to sales office supplies to profit technology to discount um, you don't have to follow a particular order okay uh, and then click ok now what you have to do is just bring this field into your visualization and uh, we'll also bring this over text okay now what you need to do is um, change this marks to shape this is what we need hide the header okay and let's bring this to entire view Let's reduce the size. Okay, now to manage the space between the shape and the text, let's add minimum of zero. And let's uh, do some formatting. All right, so let's manage the size a little bit. Okay, all right. So uh, we have a tooltip as well here. Let's remove all this. Okay. Now the next step is to uh, make a parameter so we are going to achieve this using parameter actions so let's create a parameter which holds the value of the selection that you make which means if I click on profit then profit should get stored into that parameter create parameter and select option uh, we'll create this string and we create this empty okay show parameter and let's add action over here i'm adding action over here uh, at sheet level to just show you how it functions then we'll have to again go and add the action at dashboard level as well so change parameter 
from sheet 3 parameter name should be selected option and the field should be category copy okay okay so let's check this if it's working yes now uh, the next step is we need to highlight uh, the selection so we need to change the shape if discount is selected then this should get solid colored so for that we'll have to create a calculated field selection and here we'll compare the value of the um, selected option parameter and the field which is category copy okay and this is a boolean condition and i'll bring this over shape okay so you can see the shape of sales has changed to a square and the rest others are blue only because this is a false condition and this is a true condition let's go ahead and change the shape of true and false so for false we want uh, a circle and for true we want a filled circle all right see this is how it looks uh, i'm not changing the color for now i'm leaving the formatting on you now to create a line chart which um, which uh, displays different measures based on the selection uh, we'll have to create a calculated field and this will include a if else condition if selected option equals now here we want to compare the parameter value with the uh, value of the field so if it is profit then show profit and likewise but here a very important thing to notice since we have used aliases we cannot uh, create a condition based on alias we'll have to use the original field value only otherwise tableau won't recognize it so if you want you can go back and check uh, which ma value maps to what original member so here furniture is for sales office supplies for profit and technology for discount so we'll do the same if selected option equals furniture then sales else if selected option equals office supplies then profit else selected option equals technology then discount okay now let's bring in this measure along with order date all right and i want to use order date at the month level okay uh, let's create a dashboard i'm just reducing the size of the dashboard so we want sheet three and sheet four here all right okay now let's go and add parameter actions so change parameter uh, from sheet 3 selected option here field value is category copy okay okay let's check profit yes sales works well discount again works well so follow this method to create custom radio buttons. That's all for this video. Thank you.